Now the Vikram lander module of Chandrayaan-3 carries the rover Pragyan derived from Sanskrit the name means wisdom and supreme intelligence. Pragyan rover then is all set to demonstrate that for India on moon with a, over a billion prayers. Now other than its scientific explorations it will also leave an indelible mark of Indian supreme intellect with his row logo and a Shoka line emblem on the lunar surface as it moves around. Here's a report for you to to understand what exactly will happen when the soft landing begins. Vikram will prepare for rover Pragyan to carry out its mission right after the successful landing on the south pole of the moon. The rover will then conduct in situ chemical analysis of the lunar surface. As it starts to move, it will leave an indelible mark of India on the lunar surface. The back wheels of the rover have logos of ISRO and Ashoka's line emblem. They are not on the same wheels. So the two parallel imprints on one side will create the ISRO logo and the other will mark the Ashoka's line emblem. India has already left its mark on the moon during the Chandrayaan-1 mission in 2008. On 14 November 2008, the moon impact probe separated from the Chandrayaan-1 orbiter and struck the South Pole in a controlled manner. And with that, India became the fourth country to place its flag insignia on the moon, near the crater Shackleton. The location of impact was named Jawahar Point. Nearly 15 years later, Pragyan, with a lifespan of one lunar day, or 14 Earth days, is all set for a much bigger leap. With 26 kilogram mass, 50 watt power and two payloads. It will make history for ISRO by demonstrating a rover roving on lunar surface, carrying out qualitative and quantitative elemental analysis to derive the chemical composition. In for mineralogical composition of the South Pole lunar surface. This is critical for mineral and chemical finding, as well as for ISRO's future manned moon mission, Gaganyaan. So from the looks of it, the Chandrayaan-3 looks all set to explore moon's south pole. India Today now brings you a throwback at how India's space program developed over the past six decades. Take a look at this report. India's pride soars high. Astronaut Rakesh Sharma becomes the first Indian to explore the celestial realm in a joint space mission with what was then Soviet Union. But the country achieved its first astronomical feat much before in 1963. Naika Pache, a two-stage sounding rocket imported from the United States, blasted off from a fishing village near Tiruvananthapuram in Kerala. Over the last six decades, India's space program has evolved enormously. From launch vehicles for satellites, insats for telecom, broadcasting, meteorology, remote sensing for satellite imagery, to research and development in space. From Aryabhat, a satellite designed and fabricated indigenously and launched from a Soviet rocket in 1975 to now on course to reach the moon and become the first country to explore its south pole. Off, normal, Here we have a majestic liftoff of LBM-3 M4 rocket carrying India's prestigious Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft. Because that's a place where we can get uh, sufficiently enough solar heat uh, light for power generation. If you go further, there is a possibility that you will not get the full daytime use utility. Fifteen years ago, India's first moon mission performed a detailed search of evidence of water and chemical composition of certain lunar rocks. The sky is the limit for the country's space ambitions. India's first space-based mission to study the sun. Aditya L1 nearing its launch date by the end of August or early September. Currently, payloads are getting integrated with the satellite. 
and uh, it will go through a series of testing including thermovac vibration so many things and uh, after that we will will have the launch the, it goes in a pslv so that will send a commercial launch so after that we are already starting another building a next to pslv uh, and we are targeting by august end that uh, aditya can go isro working on the gaganyaan mission india's first manned space flight program blazing its way through the earth's final frontier india establishes itself as a space power and a master of space engineering bureau report india today